finest professional wrestling from the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic region, Capital Wrestling. Hey, Capital Wrestling, what's going on? It's Marcus King Kong Dowling, and, uh, you know, I, I was gonna dress in my, my, my business attire, as I typically do, for uh, talking to you guys, but uh, what Matt said was just uh, reprehensible. Um, you mentioned all my, my famous friends and forefathers and fathers and the people like Larry Sweeney, Steve Carino, Axel Rotten, you know, name all the people that, that influenced me in my 15 years in the industry. And I, I did indeed pass that uh, information, pass that learning on to Matthew Ryan Shapiro. It's probably the reason why he is the way he is today. But um, th th that's not the point of this. Um, the point of this is uh, Matt doesn't know everything about me. Um, I'm going to divulge something that's really personal, but, but I don't care because Matt doesn't care. So um, I, I grew up without a father. Uh, I'm talking about forefathers and fathers. So those people served like parents to me in the pro wrestling industry um and uh when you talk about parents and you talk about capital wrestling um it, it, it's important to me that that the people who come to the show the the fathers and and the forefathers and and the parents that, that i never got to go to wrestling shows with when i was a kid two parents mother and father have the kinds of experiences that make them, you know, feel good about themselves or feel good about life because, well, you know, life doesn't make you feel very good sometimes these days. Um, on the occasion of our last event, uh, I was standing there watching in the back and there was a uh, family in the front row. There was a brother and a sister, a mother and a father. And every single time that Matthew Ryan Shapiro appeared on a Capitol Wrestling show, on that show in particular, the sister would turn to her father and bury her head in his arms, crying because the New York Wrecking Crew were breaking the rules. And then we came to Sonny Kiss and, and Paul Jordan, and uh, you'll see that on Capitol Wrestling TV soon, but Matthew Ryan Shapiro made himself president at match and almost caused Sonny Kiss, a native of that area of New Jersey, to never appear in front of people like families, like parents that I never had again. It was at that point that I knew that for this company that means so much to the kind of life that I want people to live and the kind of life that I wish I could have lived myself, that I had to get rid of Matthew Ryan Shapiro. And I chose, I'm going to let it out again, I chose people that I know that these people love, the kind of wrestlers that when I was a child, I would have loved to do the job. So, Ari and Marcus, the perfect strangers, Matt Sells and Smiley, sex crazed, they're going to get it done. They're going to get it done, not, not for some insignificant largely beef between Matt and I where he makes fun of people that, that mean a lot to me and makes fun of a legacy that, that I created. No, no, no. We are going to do this for the people who come to the shows. For the people who watch the TV. For the families that watch our promotion. For the brothers and sisters in the crowd. For the mothers and fathers in the crowd who may not know what else to do in the world. And they come to my show that I co-founded. That, that's more important to me than anything. It's more important to me than anything, man. It's not sweat, man. It's not sweat at all. It's not standing for it anymore, Matt. It's not standing for it anymore for everybody at Capital Wrestling. October 14th, it's martial law. And it's for a reason. And that's all. <laughs> you need to know. Capital Wrestling returns October 14th to the Capital Auditorium in Hoboken to determine who will become King of the Capital as we crown the first ever Capital Wrestling Heavyweight Champion.
But that's not the only title up for grabs as the intergender champion of the known universe, the colossal Mike Law, takes on the NRA zone. Will the champ retain or will the prodigal son of the NRA capture his first gold in the Capitol? The King of Chaos comes to Capitol Wrestling October 14th as the leader of the AOC, Logan Black, looks to settle the score from our last event with the man simply known as Chula. Coming off a controversial tag team gauntlet match, Matthew Ryan Shapiro and his New York Wrecking Crew take on the Perfect Strangers. Our main event features two matchups never seen before in Capital Wrestling. First, the wrestling god Anthony Gangone looks to take a bite out of the bad apple inside the squared circle as he goes one on one with Matt McIntosh. In the other main event, the concrete rose Sunny Kiss, coming off an emotional victory over Paul Jourdain, takes on the champion of the 1%, Logan Easton the Rue. All this and more October 14th as Capital Wrestling returns to the Capital Auditorium in Hobo. Get your tickets now at CapitalWrestling.com and come to the Capitol.